Luciana Berger. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mental health is now the number one public health concern for a third of our country. Its importance has jumped 16 percentage points in the past year alone. And yet the Joint Health and Education Select Committee's report, published last week, said that the government's strategy for young people's mental health lacks any ambition and will fail a generation. Will the Prime Minister commit to think again and go back to the drawing boards to ensure that we afford every young person in the, our country the best start in life? Yeah. Can I say to the Honourable Lady that by 2020-21 we've committed to ensuring 70,000 more children and young people will have access to high quality NHS mental health care. We recognise the importance of mental health among young people because I think it's something like half of mental health problems later in life have started before the age of 14. That's why one of the initiatives the Government has taken is to ensure that staff in schools will be trained to better identify mental health problems and better able to ensure that those young people with those mental health problems get the treatment and get the support that they need. But I, I will just say one final thing. I think it is important that mental health, as she says, has, has been rising up the scale of people's concerns. I, think, I would like to think that, that is partly because we have ensured that there is greater awareness of the issue of mental health, and everybody in this House has a job to ensure that we remove the stigma attached to mental health so people do feel able to come forward when they have mental health problems.